Hi, I'm Ray Miller with Audio Advisor, and I've been hooked on great sound for more than 40 years. And a question I often get is, do I really need a headphone amplifier? Now, it might sound like just an extra piece of gear, but in reality, the right amp can completely change your listening experience. So, let's dig in. A headphone amp gives your headphones the power they need to really perform. Every pair of headphones requires a certain amount of power to sound their best. Sure, your phone or your laptop might have a tiny amp built in, but they're often too weak, especially if you've invested in higher-end or more demanding headphones. Let me get just a little bit more technical for a moment. Impedance is measured in ohms. Headphones under 50 ohms are generally easy to drive, while anything over 250 ohms really benefits from dedicated amplification. But it's not just about impedance. Sensitivity matters too. Some low impedance planar magnetic headphones are notoriously power hungry, despite their specs. So how do you know if a headphone amp could help you out? Well, first, if you constantly have to crank the volume up to 11 and it still doesn't feel loud enough, that's a big clue. Second, if your music sounds kind of flat, like it's missing punch, detail, or energy, that's another sign. And finally, if you own high impedance headphones and they just don't sound as lively as you expected, that's usually the giveaway, that your source doesn't have enough muscle. Here's some more subtle clues. If you hear distortion when music gets complex or loud, if the sound stage feels narrow, or if your headphones sound different depending on what device you plug them into, those are all signs that power delivery is inconsistent. Now, here's something many people overlook. Output impedance. Your source's output impedance should be roughly eight times lower than your headphone's impedance for optimal damping. Most phones and laptops have high output impedance, which can make your headphones sound muddy or cause frequency response issues, especially with sensitive in-ear monitors. So what happens when you add an amp into the chain? Suddenly the music opens up, the bass feels tighter and more controlled, the highs sparkle without harshness, and the whole presentation feels more three-dimensional. It's not just louder, it's more dynamic, more engaging, and honestly, more fun. From a technical standpoint, a good amp provides cleaner power with lower distortion, better channel separation, and more stable voltage delivery. This translates into improved imaging. You hear exactly where instruments are positioned in the mix and better macro and micro dynamics. That's when you realize you are finally hearing your headphones the way the designer intended. You'll encounter two main types, Solid-state amps offer precise analytical sound with excellent measurements, while tube amps add harmonic richness and warmth that many find musical. There are also hybrid designs and newer Class D amps that offer efficiency without sacrificing sound quality. Now, not every listener absolutely positively needs an amp, but if you've put money into good headphones, it's definitely worth considering. For high impedance headphones like these Sennheiser HD 600 series headphones, you'll want at least 100 milliwatts of power. That's one tenth of a watt. For planar magnetics like Audis or Hi-Fi Man models, look for amps that can deliver serious current. Look for one to two watts of output. And if you're using sensitive IEMs, make sure your amp has a low noise floor because any hiss will be amplified along with your music. For home setups, a desktop headphone amp paired with a DAC can take your system to the next level. If you're a traveler, there are compact amps that slip right into your bag or pocket. And if you're working in a studio or you're really picky about accuracy, an amp is essential. It's the tool that makes sure you're hearing everything in the mix. Think of it like this. 
if your headphones are sports cars and a headphone amp is the engine that lets them hit top speed. Many audiophiles pair their amp with a dedicated DAC. That's digital to analog converter. Your phone's built-in DAC is doing double duty and often compromising. A dedicated DAC amp combo or stack can eliminate digital noise and provide cleaner conversion of your digital files. So, bottom line, if your headphones sound too quiet, too flat, or just a little lifeless, a headphone amp can breathe new life into them. It can give your music the dynamics, the clarity and energy that basic built-in amps just can't provide. For many listeners, it's the simplest upgrade that makes the biggest difference. And if you'd like a little help in choosing the right headphone amp for your setup, check us out at audioadvisor.com or give our expert team a call at 800-942-0220. And don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss tips, reviews, and gear spotlights. I'm Ray Miller. Thanks for watching and happy listening.